Hi, it's Ramsey Dewey over here in Shanghai, China at the UFL gym with my assistant Xiao and we're going to test out a women's self-defense technique. This video comes to us from 5 Minute Crap. Oh, sorry, did I say crap? I meant 5 Minute Crafts. I get those two confused quite often. Here the much larger woman backhands her tiny assailant in the stomach twice. He immediately lets go and she follows with a vicious slap. This one involves a hair grab. Since I don't have any hair, by default, Xiao is going to be the hapless victim. Now in the original video, this uh, woman who has her hair grabbed, her posture broken in this very vulnerable position, breaks the grip by backfisting her opponent in the stomach several times, okay? Now I want to see if Xiao can make me let go of his hair. I've never done this before, this is the first time we've tried it. Okay, if he can make me let go of the hair by simply backfisting in the back of the stomach. And you can go as hard as you want. Okay, you ready? So let's break that posture down. Harder. 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 Oh, it hurts my okay. hand. Okay, it's a... Uh, <laughs> that, that is interesting. Okay, let's all wrap. Well, let's get a close up on that hand. Now, I know what the people on the internet are probably thinking. They're probably thinking, well, an average street thug would not have rock hard abs <laughs> like, like you, so, so you could definitely backhand them and they would let go, but um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Another thing in that video, the, uh, the girl has a significant size advantage over the guy, and of course they're, they're playing along, they're acting, so that's a slightly different situation. Do you want to try again with your other hand? Yeah. All right, let's, let's give this a try. Now, bear in mind the posture is broken, meaning he's bent over. Now, to me this doesn't make a whole lot of sense because he, he's got some better targets like the groin, but um, the self-defense video doesn't tell you to do that. Instead, club the stomach with the back of the hand. You doing okay? Yeah. I could do this all day, man. So once again, my suggestion, Try out your self-defense techniques before you teach them. What might be a better idea? Let's say Xiao has my imaginary hair under control. My posture is broken. You know, to be honest, I've seen a bunch of situations like this. If somebody has control of your hair, they have control of your head. They won't just stand there. They won't just stand there and eat punches to the stomach. They're going to be dragging you. They're going to be moving you around. It's very similar to if I had like a, a headlock here. I'm going to drag him somewhere. I'm going to move him somewhere. I want to hurt him. Generally in fights where people grab the hair, it's fights with women fighting other women. Take a look at this clip of a bunch of street fights involving hair grabs. It's almost exclusively women fighting other women. It's not a self-defense situation, it's an aggravated assault. And every single time when they grab that hair, and I'm doing this very lightly with Xiao, I don't want him to end up looking like me, notice just pulling very lightly, he has to follow. Because if he doesn't, it's going to start causing immense pain, ripping the hair out from the roots. Okay? So if he does have control of this, be prepared to fight on the ground because you're probably going there. Because if he drags me, I'm probably going to end up here. Okay? In which case I need to know how to fight from this position and better defend myself. Okay? So what am I telling you to do? Learn how to wrestle a little bit. It'll solve a lot of problems. Let's, let's try this with a, a smaller guy grabbing shell. Here, go ahead.
Okay, that's good. It's on the liver side too, but he's fine. Yeah. So Xiao was uh, he was hitting the liver side, and uh, how do you feel? Uh, I don't think enough. Ah, but ah, not working. Okay. How how do you feel? It's her, but not not very enough. Mm. I won't let her go. Let him go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another big problem with striking from this position is you're striking from a position of broken posture. Meaning you're totally bent over here. I have nothing except my arm. Nothing except my arm to add to that punch. And the weight of just my arm, you know, you can pull me down. Yeah, you know, I'm a lot bigger and stronger than Shao, but even, even this, you know, it's, it's just the wrist and just the elbow. Essentially, I've cut off most of my body from this attack, as opposed to an attack that starts from the foot, up to the knee, up to the hip, adding the torso, adding both shoulders, adding everything into it, which could do some real damage, right? I've taken away most of the joints, most of the weight of the body. So in this position, striking is going to be one of my worst options, unless, of course, I'm striking something more vulnerable like the groin. But even then, he's going to drag me, he's going to move. So if I'm focused on striking, here, drag me, I'm going to find myself face down very quickly. So as usual, Focus on positional improvements with striking as not the solution to your problems, but as a way to help you improve your position. If you think about it, if you look at mixed martial arts, striking essentially helps make your grappling easier. For example, if I want to do a takedown, maybe I'll throw a strike up here, boom, to get his focus up there, so I can catch the legs more easily, so that I can put him on the ground. Right? Now, I want to pass his guard, and guard passing, especially against a good jiu-jitsu guy, can be quite difficult. He can wrap you up with these legs and sweep you and all this stuff. Ah, oh, that's a big problem. But if I can distract him with the strikes, boom, 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 guard passing becomes a lot easier. Okay? If I want to submit him, okay, if... If we're just playing jujitsu, if I want to get this arm bar or this wrist lock, this can be quite difficult. But if I start getting him focusing on the strikes instead of on the grappling, all of a sudden, now we've got these cool options that we didn't have before. And now, even right here, let's say he's, he's defending the arm bar. Boom, boom, look. It doesn't do a great deal of damage, but it distracts him so that I can set up what comes next. So if you think of strikes as a way to help you solve the problem instead of the solution to the problem itself, you'll be a lot better off. Let's address the issue of positional improvements. Let's say I've got Shao broken down into uh, double collar ties, Muay Thai clinch right here, right? And what he's trying to do right here is get his arms to the inside and improve his position, which is smart. But what happens a lot here, grab my head, with people who don't understand positional improvements, they'll try to punch their way out. Oh, if I just punch him enough, he'll let go. Boom! And then they eat an eat to the face and get knocked out. With your posture broken, this is the most dangerous place to even think about attacking. What you need to focus on is fix your posture, right? Regain your position so that you can do some damaging strikes with your posture unbroken. Again, this is bad posture. This is a death sentence in a fight, right? Fixing the posture with your head, neck, spine, and tailbone all in a straight line, that's where you can start fighting back intelligently. So if Shao breaks my posture down, instead of trying to punch my way out, and again, this is mostly arm punches which aren't doing anything, I need to find a way to fix this situation. And there are a lot of ways to do it. If my posture is already deeply broken down, it's going to be hard to cross face him. I mean, I could do that. That can work. So I like this one. Arms are on the back of the head. Push in the hip as I look up, and now I can pummel to the inside and fight back more intelligently, okay? So always address the issue of positional improvements first before you think about doing damaging strikes. You can use strikes as a movement to help you gain the correct position. But if you're out of position, fix that first. Thanks for watching.
Now get out there and train. It was at that moment that Natasha realized her assailant was a total wimp, at which point she realized anything would work. Take that, Timmy. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs>